Ladies and gentlemen, we just happen to be in town at the right time that General Longstreet uh, happens to be here. Oh, yeah, well, it is the Battle of Gettysburg. Hello, General. How are you, sir? So, what are you, what are you going to explain to us the details about today? Well, I, I guess the, the thing to talk about is what happened right here um, just yesterday. General Lee arrived here just a little bit before I did yesterday. And when I caught up with him over here, we found that the Federals had stacked up up here on these heights, and we could see that they were digging in. And General Lee's first idea was to hit that hill up there. And I told him, I said, General, that's going to be just like Fredericksburg all over again, except in reverse. They're digging in on those heights up there. If we could move around by our right and get in between them and Washington City, we know that there was a telegram sent from Halleck in Washington to Meade telling Meade not to allow the Confederate forces to get between him and Washington City. So if we get around by our right and get in between, he'll be under orders from Washington to come off of those heights up there and come at us. And if he comes at us in earnest and we get around down here somewhere uh, to the south or the uh, southeast of him, get in between him and Washington City, he's gonna be under orders to come at us and we can dig in on ground of our own choosing. Now did, did Lee, have that information already were you telling him something he already knew yes, maybe sir. considered but dismissed yeah he knew about the telegram yes sir yeah he was the first one to know about the interceptor okay of the telegram so well we know what they're going to do uh matter of fact halleck we intercepted his telegram back to washington saying that if the confederates try such a thing he will fall back on his supplies at westminster maryland Okay. So we know pretty much what they're going to do if they spot us, but I think we can get around uh, in between him and Washington without being seen. Not necessarily the whole army, but at least take my corps and part, maybe part of another corps, maybe yours corps, uh, or certainly part of A.P. Hills. Get around in between them, force them to come at us, and we can dig in. And that's how we've whipped them so far and been outnumbered two to one in most cases. Uh, so we can get them to come at us because an army on the move is an army at disadvantage because they can't uh, they can't use their big guns. They got to unlimber everything, swing it around, get it loaded up, fire it, and then move it again. So their big guns are out of the question. But our big guns are, are mounted and ready, mm -hmm. uh, and aimed right at them. So if we could uh, could but do that, get around in between them. And some people heard it about it, and they says, "No, that's a retreat." No, it's not a retreat. Retreat would be to pack up and head back to uh, Virginia. That's a retreat. We are just redeploying, moving around by our right flank and get in between and picking a fight with them. Mm -hmm. But this time, as I said, on ground of our own choosing. And since we have whipped them like we have in the past, if we can whip them one more time up here on their soil this time, then I have no doubt that General, uh, I mean, uh, President Lincoln will be forced to sue for peace. Mm -hmm. Because the country, the anti-war sentiment in this country is growing day by day. The people are realizing that we're not up here trying to take Washington or anything like that. We're just up here trying to wear out their army so they'll leave us alone and we can all go home. Well, I understood that the attack was originally to be towards Harrisburg because Harrisburg would be a capital and to attack a capital would have a political mm -hmm. signal. Yep, yep. Yeah. So it wasn't just a matter of being up here, was it? It was, it was it, they did have a strategic objective of taking a, a capital. Well, once we got within means uh, of that capital, yes, uh, Lee told Ewell to take the place if it comes within your means. Okay. But uh, mostly it was a demonstration. We had just found out that the Federal Army had struck their camps down in, uh, near Fredericksburg and were on their way up here and were probably just over the line down in Maryland somewhere, probably around Frederick. And if we could take a place like Harrisburg, that would force them to come up here and come at us. And if we took Harrisburg, they might not even give us a fight. Yeah. We might just let it, Lincoln might just say, let, let it go. But you're saying if if you could, but so you're saying that, that it was okay if you didn't. It well, did. So in other words, you did want to come up here to force the, the, the federal army up, mm -hmm. which would have been significant. But by the way, if you can, if you can take a, a capital city too, that would be. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, yes. That would be a prize. Yeah. It, it, it's what the army would call a strategic uh, offense. Mm -hmm. That is, you will go on the offense and strate strategically move into the enemy's territory. But once you get there, a tactical defense is what you need. Because, okay. Uh, they outnumber us. They can resupply where we can't. We can't get in. What we 
have with us is what we got to fight with. So if y'all had have taken Harrisburg, then what? Well, hopefully just the fact that we took Harrisburg would be enough. Okay. Uh, I don't really know that we, there would be any reason to hold Harrisburg once we got it. Okay. The fact that we took it and pick, pick a fight with them yeah. and uh, get the fight here on northern soil this time. The main reason that we're up here to begin with is to get the Army and, or the war out of Virginia. Oh, okay. Virginia has been torn up for over two years now. So if we can uh, come up here and live off of their land for a short time, which it'll, it'll just be a short time, then we can pick a fight with them. If we win the fight up here, then we hope that this thing will come to a co uh, conclusion. And that's exactly what General Lee is looking for, just to wear down their army to where they don't want to make war on us anymore. That let them know, let the United States know that it's not worth all this waste and, uh, and, and death and destruction just to force somebody to come back into the fold under gunpoint. And he, yeah, you might force somebody under gunpoint to come back in, but if they don't want in, it's never going to work. So that's what we're that, that's what we're looking at. And it's always been President Davis's idea not to take Washington or certainly to take Harrisburg or to take anything away and keep it as our own. No, take it to pick a fight and get okay. in the best position. Whip these people one more good time, one more good time up here on federal soil, and uh, I believe the war will, will end. So that became the that became the primary, I guess, objective once Harrisburg became something unachievable, was just to defeat the army here. Right. And that was Lee's objective. Right. Well, it's, it, what Lee told Ewell was, don't go and take Harrisburg. He says, go demonstrate against Harrisburg and take the place if it comes okay. within your means. Okay, track So it. W once you demonstrate and start firing your cannons across the uh, Susquehanna, if all of a sudden whatever the little defenses they have take off and run for the hills, we have the town. Mm -hmm. And we can let it be known that we now own Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, the capital. And we'll see what develops from that. What was Lee's objective once? It, let's say if his in his mindset that he thought, okay, we'll, we'll attack here and we'll defeat them, did he plan to pursue up to Harrisburg at that point, or was he going to then make a tactical retreat back into Virginia well, if he had been victorious here in Gettysburg? Well, if, if he had been victorious here, we hoped that the war would end, and it would not then be a retreat. It would be everybody going home. Okay. Uh, so that you know, the war would be over. We could go back to uh, living our way, and they could live their way. Uh, okay. You know, the way... The way we see it down south, I know Lincoln made the statement one time that a house divided against itself cannot stand. But we don't look at it like a house divided against itself down south. What we see is two houses next door to one another trying to learn to get along. Because we have seceded from this government. We okay. have formed our own nation. Now let's get, give a, get, get friendly with each other, set up trade relations as we have done with Mexico and live together peacefully. So was his plan, or did he even have a plan that after Gettysburg, his military, op as far as military operations are concerned, did he plan to, all right, we beat him at Gettysburg, we'll go back into Virginia, and then we'll say, want to see for peace, or do you want more, or were you guys going to sustain operations and get into a defensive mode here for a, a period of time and to force Lincoln to sue for peace? Uh, we, we know we can't stay here. Yeah, okay. But, uh, what We've got to do what we're going to do and get get back out of Okay, so it would have been a big raid. Yeah, because the, the Federals over here can resupply from just about anywhere. That's anywhere right. They want. Yeah. But we can't bring anything else up from, uh, from okay. Virginia. So, so that was his follow-on plan. Okay. Right, so, yeah, yeah. Come up here, pick the best fight, whip them again, which we've whipped them the last four times. Mm -hmm. And if we whip them one more time up here on, on their soil this time, we have no doubt that uh, Lincoln will sue for peace and this thing will be over with. Yeah. Well, well thank you. Well, that was a very good explanation. Thank you, sir. Your surgeon over there gave an incredible explanation of surgery. It's a bit gory, but it was mm -hmm. very, very good. All right. Hey, listen, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That was very by. good. Thank you.